glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Border and state often beget great rivalry. Arkansas and LSU both on the field getting loose and getting set to pursue the battle for the Golden Boot. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. West rivalry with a winner taking home the Golden Boot Trophy. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. Irby takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 30 yard line. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tackled at the 32-yard line. LSU's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Taken down at the 34. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Tackle at the 45. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. And now he's got room to run. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, second down. Throw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. with room to run. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. Excellent open field tackle. 
That makes it second and two. It's the ninth play of the drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tackle after a decent pickup. Call the game six yards. That brings them second and goal. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Quickly, the tight end touchdown. And he adds the extra point. An 11 play, 70 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 26. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle made at the 32. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Just throws this one away. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect, three and out. Good series for these guys. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Makes it to the 48 yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll bring him down right around the 48 yard line. Second and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. LSU is up by a touchdown. Quick throw. He's at the 40. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. Stevenson's on the tackle. The 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 37 yard line. It's first down. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. 7 0, Tiger. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. That'll bring up third and six. Man left, man left. Watch 19, watch 19. Pulls 
pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Hale picks up about three with that catch. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. LSU is upset. the middle for a nice game. First down. Seven yard scamper on the keeper. That'll bring up second and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. High five, high five. Ready. Run, run, run. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down around the 11 yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Tries to get around the corner. He sheds it. Touchdown, LSU! Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Cougars arrive at today's game ranked fourth in the nation. And for Houston, they look to win their 11th game of the year. Houston has the edge. 21 to 7. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Starts they line up to kick time. this one away. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. It was a pretty one sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. The 23. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 23 yard line. Second down. Here's an opening. Brought down at about the 39 yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From their own 39 yard line. First down. They come out in a five wide set. Finds his man. First down. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 46-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and look out. He's at the 30. Brought down with only one man to beat. From the 21 yard line, it's first down. First 
first and goal. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. He makes it 10 touchdown catches for the year. I can see now why this quarterback calls him his favorite target. Whenever this guy's near the end zone, he gets him the ball. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Arkansas lines up for the kickoff. From the six, and he has it on the corner. He's tackled at the 41. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. LSU up seven points. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit immediately. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Tackle at the 45-yard line. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down around the 29-yard line. The Tigers use their second timeout. First and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's good for the of seven yards. Easy, easy, easy. Muscle, muscle. Check 99. Check 99. He's looking for six. He's in. Touchdown, Tigers. He makes the PAT. Browning has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Starks from the two, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Going to go across the middle, caught. The Razorbacks call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 34. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Stover makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He sails it long. Complete. It's the junior. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. And he converts the extra point. I 
I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff. Most likely to end the half. Fielded at the nine. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. Well, we've got a barn burner here, and at the end of the first half, our score, LSU leads it 21-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Play action. Once it all, going deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. Third down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Hardy is back deep to return. And he's taken down at the 45. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. LSU is up a score. They'll work the left side. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Loss of one there for the halfback. Miller 
is the deep man awaiting the return. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. run up the middle that'll make it second and four room around the corner nice run there as they work the outside we've got a first and ten Ball on the 49. And now he's got room to run. Nice run there. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. That'll bring up second and three. He guns it to the left. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. From the 22-yard line, first down. Here's the throw to the fullback. Tackle right around the 16-yard line. Pearson gains six yards with a short completion. And this play is number eight on the drive. He laterals the ball. Knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Steps out of bounds at the 13. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. We've got a tight one going on here. The Cowboys are out front, 17-14. 21-17, our game here. Harris has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. Arkansas is playing much better on the defensive side of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They've streamlined their attack, and I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. LSU is up four. There he goes. He's taken down at about the 35. 
That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. That's three down and one to go. LSU's up by four. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. After a decent run up the gun. Gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. About the 47 yard line. First down. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. He has some room. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. LSU is up by four. And down he goes. About the 41. Good penetration by the defense. That's a loss of one on the option. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Caught with room to work. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. And this is the eighth play of the drive. complete for the touchdown and some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress so it's second down and 15 after the penalty made at the 20. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. It's the ninth play of the drive. Just over two minutes in the game. stopped immediately well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback you need those things to make any offense work here's play number 10 on the drive 
Takes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Browning has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Gets it out quickly. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 33. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers, so that was a really good effort. It's second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Just over a minute left. And he snags that one. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 38. He goes out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. He heaves it to the end zone. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. A score here might effectively end this one. Under a minute left in the game. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. The Razorbacks using their third and final timeout. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 35-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee.
A great game here today in a tight one. 24-17, Tigers. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.